Now, a healthy family, now, and remember what I said last week, that a family is a system, and I'm letting this mobile represent the idea of a family system, that as a system, it is the interdependence of the parts rather than the sum total of the parts. So the notion of a family system is the notion of feedback system, circularity, that each part affects every other part, so that if I push this part, you notice what happens. Every other part is affected. If, if I push this part, every other part is affected. That every person in the system is interdependent on every other person in the system. And I suggested to you last week that we better understand the nature of families and family systems. I suggested to you that we've begun to understand as we've studied the phenomena of black Nazism and how a Hitler could happen that any leader who discovers the laws of the systems that people were raised in can control masses of people. That Hitler understood the structure, the authoritarian structure of the German family. And that's why Caroline Payne argued in her book, The Neurosis of Nations, that Germany and the Weimar Republic could never be democratic. Because you can't have people in autocracy and ideological totalitarianism families who suddenly at 21 or 2 become democratic. And hey, folks, in the last 75 years, what, how many hundred million people have died at the pinnacle of civilization? And what I'm arguing is that there's no simple answer to the problem, but the basic radical source of the problem is in the families and the way we are learned, the way we are taught socialization and the kinds of structure, family structures that we come out of.